in the depths of the forest here. Cut. <laughs> I've never seen this before. What is that? The mist hugging the mountaintop. That's very cool. Telegraph Cove looks like it might be foggy. We might have a San Francisco moment. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. Good morning. Well, we didn't get the knock after parking in this car park last night, but we are in the middle of nowhere. If you're just joining us and didn't see the last episode, we, uh, we parked up here because it was getting dark. We couldn't find anywhere else, even though there are signs saying no overnight parking. Um, but a number of people that, uh, some guys slept in their car here. Uh, some of the other cars are for people that are camping. But it was a very peaceful night's sleep. We've woken up, it's a bit of a grey day here at San Joseph Bay. Right, let's show you the map and uh, the plan today, if all goes according to plan. Let's get the map up on the side. Okay, so we've woken up here in San Joseph Bay, uh, where we went walking yesterday and the plan is to drive back to uh, Holberg and then okay. to Port Hardy, which is there. We'll go and get coffee somewhere in Port Hardy because when we were at Clinton Lenders, we made coffee in the morning. We brought our own coffee in and of course we left it there. So we're caffeine free this morning, yes, which is we are. never good for our brains. Never good. So uh, from Port Hardy, we're going to uh, go to Telegraph Cove here because we didn't have time to stop on the way up. And then we're going to drive back to Campbell River, catch up with Clint and Linda. Who? I'm making us brisket. They're going to cook us something amazing tonight. He's I got think. a smoker and he's just showing <laughs> off. So we're looking forward to that. And then tomorrow morning, when we wake up, we're going to uh, we're going to drive down and, and do a little trip into Strathcona Park here before heading back and reuniting with Trudy, who is parked down in Duncan. So, yeah, we've driven a long way. This is actually probably the height of the UK, just to put it into perspective. So we've got about two hours I think we have. to get big to... shout out to Auntie Julia for letting us borrow JB because without JB we would not have the opportunity to make these adventures happen so it's 20 past nine in the morning uh, hopefully we should see some bears or nature on the way we were lucky last time we drove here we did spot a black bear on the road so uh, yeah we'll keep our eyes peeled to see uh, if we can see anything for you guys this morning Goodbye, Cape Scott Provincial Park. In the depths of the forest here. I think if I was a bear, I'd stay in bed all morning and not get out. I think that's a good plan. I'll definitely be by a salmon river as well. Yeah. I just love the moss on these trees. As we're driving down, you can see it all hanging like beards coming off the trees they uh yeah it's definitely it's definitely like a fairy forest here reminds me of that forest when we were in ireland yes and it all, does it yeah, did you literally just wait for a little fairy to pop out Just passed a sign, Port Hardy, 50 kilometers, 50 kilometers, not miles. So that's, I don't know, 35 miles. And uh, progress is a bit slow. It's a bit wet and muddy this morning. I think JB, Aunt Julia, if you're watching, we'll take it to the car wash. It's <laughs> a, uh, a big machine there. Oh, it's one of those ones with the funny tires. That oh, do yeah. the, the, oh, grading. the grading. grading. Over a little wooden bridge. Oh, I love these bridges. They're very nice. 
over the river there. It just opens up, doesn't it? So you can see down the, the river. Yeah, it's very pretty. going through Holberg. Look at the size of that tree stump there. So we've made it back to uh, to the, the, the town, the one town between here and Port Hardy. Quite That's a very cool little pub. Probably gets lots of hikers. Oh, Ooh, that's a bit of a bump, love. Yeah, that's why I'm going super <laughs> slow. And uh, yeah, it's lovely next to the lake here. See, there's, there's lovely little houses here. But yeah, very, uh, very isolated. Past the general store. Oh, <laughs> I'm a bit stiff after no, that hike. Morning. V I did my trade at VW. Oh yeah. And I, I, this ducting this intake for the cooling of the engine. Oh, yeah. I was, yeah. I was, was involved with the tooling of it. No. Oh really? Whereabouts was that? In South Africa. Nice. Nice. That's very cool. Originally. There was another one that came out. There was a um, the newer models came out and then they were exposed. Ah. Yeah. Uh, different engines, so the new yeah. cooling yeah. goes down and then of course this is the intake for the cooling system. Yeah. Oh yeah. Julia, cool. who's this um, this van belongs to? Yeah. She said to me that this is the last model of the VW with the back engine, the engine yes. in the back. Yeah. But I think they're radiated. These do have red. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Yeah, this is from radiating there too. The old days we called them <laughs> trucks. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> do you get many tourists down here? Yes. Oh, we, we... A lot of hikers in the summer. Lots of we've in actual fact this year was the most that uh, locals that have been living here for 44 years and they saying it was um, this year's busy been record. after COVID probably everybody wanted to get out a lot of 75 percent of my customers come from Victoria and pops pops, pops. pops is welcome oh to pops. pops your pops, pops, pops and this is Pops' zoo yeah <laughs> I love it <laughs> look at this this uh, I've never seen this before what is that it's the humpback vertebra. So this, we found at Heck Beach wow. with um, a friend of mine, uh, Nick Moore, who's actually happens to be the son of Patrick Moore, is a founder, one of the founders, co-founders of Greenpeace. Wow. Oh, wow. And they live lo he lives locally? Yes. Yeah, yeah he's got a they got a So you got all the cool people living around here. Look at the, I can't believe how big that is. Yeah, this was all, this is all part of the same whale. And then this is a different, this is the gray whale's ribs. And they just they were just washed up on the beach. Yeah. Yeah, and he's able to tell you that because he's a scientist and a marine yes. biologist. Yeah. He'll identify that. Wow, that's, that's amazing. That's incredible. Oh. This is my honey van. Your honey van. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> honey van. oh yeah. lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Fancy glass, you know. It's oh, old. the glasses. And she gets all these ideas from the trees and the mountains. She goes and takes pictures oh, and photos. And very talented. She's been building little sailboats out of. Beachwood. Oh, driftwood. Driftwood, yeah. Yeah, wow. And all this is her, this is her old collection, yeah? She's been, oh, she's lovely. taken mugs and then she's put Holberg on them. Oh, that's nice. And these, she's painted that. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. I want to know why you don't call me your honey bun. <laughs> Sasquatch. You're, <laughs> You're my Sasquatch. <laughs> Warning, please do not, please do not feed the Sasquatch. I love oh, that. Do they have Sasquatch here? Is there rumour that they... Yes, Because I heard BC is the place for that's Sasquatch. Right, that's right, yeah. Super guys, you are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. If you guys, are, anybody's driving down here, the whole bookstore, these guys are the most hospitable people we've met. And the warmest welcome! Yeah! Thank you very much. All right, take care. A treat to meet you. Yeah, uh, take bye care, guys. guys. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, what a lovely couple. I'm so pleased we stopped back at that store. Um, yep, yeah, it's all clear. They were so, so lovely. They gave us a, a a coffee welcome. and welcomed us. And they even invited us to stay uh, yeah, for lunch, lunch. But we're off 
meeting uh, friends in Campbell River again tonight, so we had to say no. Isn't it interesting how people have found a community, joined the community, want to be part of that community and grow um, the, the whole tourism aspect of it and share how beautiful this place yeah. is. Yeah, so he's talking about maybe getting a boat and one they get some hikers and stuff here so i'm sure over the years this area is so beautiful uh, the north of the island will be just as popular as the south but he was saying most of the uh, the houses in the in the little community there are actually owned by workers that work in the forests and uh, on the land here the sun's come out isn't that lovely it's burnt through the uh, early morning mist just going slowly because there's loads of little sharp pointy stones on the road here. Not great for tyres. And uh, we still got about probably about 45 minutes drive to Port Hardy. But it should be in perfect time for lunch. We had so much fun with the guys at the shop <laughs> that uh, it's, we should be there by lunchtime. So far no bears this morning. And we made it back. JV made it, love. Yay! <laughs> what a rocking van. This van has done very well for such an old van. She's still up for an adventure, aren't you, Julia? You should definitely uh, big up JV. There we go. Welcome to Port Hardy. It's a car wash, a laundromat, and a lottery. That's it. The uh, A&W drive through. We'll see if we can see any little snacky places for a bit of lunch always stop let's have a look oh look at the mural on there oh there's that's a lot nice of murals on the island aren't they it's really yeah they're nice places, oh, there's a cafe it? down there cafe guido Convenience. Park in there and we can have a wander around or should yeah. I go straight down? Yeah. Oh JB, you've definitely been on a bit of an adventure. Okay, so we've come down to uh, Cafe Guido. I think it was the only place over the A and W that looked like they did food. So we'll see if we can get a Scooby snack. Sounds lovely. <laughs> Panini's on. I feel incredibly spoiled. I've got the veggie one, which is goat's cheese and mushrooms mm. and pesto and caramelized onions and peppers. It smells absolutely <laughs> delicious. Bon appetit. <sighs> okay, so after a quick pit stop lunch, we, uh, we're just having a little wander because we spotted these lovely uh, murals on the wall here this one's cool isn't it the orcas we've seen a few of those since we've been here i'm loving that we are privileged to have seen orcas it, it was a really emotional time wasn't it yeah definitely if you haven't seen the video you should when we went well watching that's an absolute amazing sight right we're going to start the journey uh south again now Yep, back and, towards uh, Campbell River. Back towards Campbell River. So although we still got about half a tank, we better uh, top her up because there's not a lot of gas stations on the on the way down. Gas stations, I've been here too long. You have. He actually Petrol said, stations, garages. No, but you actually said, he said this morning, um, have you seen my pants? And I was like, yes, they're here. And he's like, no, my pants. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah. Definitely. We've been in North America too long. Time to go to Mexico. Okay, let's uh, quickly fill up. Okay, all filled up. $2.26 a litre. Definitely seems to be going up recently. I think it's because the infrastructure required to get the fuel up here. Maybe. Yeah, I think the north of the know. island's definitely more. So just to give you guys an update on the uh, parts, if, you, uh, if you're new to our channel, we're not in our van because we've been waiting for weeks now for um, parts to repair Trudy, our van. The, uh, the latest update is that um, the company in Slovakia has sourced the spindle after all the confusion and said it will be posted next week. But um, Ursul's 
uh, in Istanbul, he sent the spindle. Um, so that should be here by the middle of next week, fingers crossed. So hopefully in about eight days time, Trudy should be fixed. She's booked into the garage with Sean next Friday. Um, and then we'll be able to hit the road again. I know we've had quite a few comments going, you're crazy driving a two wheel drive, 18 year old Fiat Ducato to some of these roads like Tuk 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 and the roads in Georgia. Um, but she has been going, we, we picked her up at 40,000 miles. She's done 110,000 miles now. And this is the first time that she's had her bearings and uh, wheel bits replaced. So I reckon she's done pretty good considering the miles and the roads that she's been on. And we are an adventure channel and we like to show you um, adventure. So we'll be doing more roads like that. And let's face it, you're right. She is not built for those kind of roads or those kind of adventures, but neither are we. <laughs> and that's what makes her special. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, love. couple of uh, kilometers to go till Telegraph Cove. Oh, there's a huge logging area there. That's pretty uh, large scale, isn't it? They quite often transport them on the water though, don't they? Yeah, I think just underneath send them down that, the rivers. I think just underneath that mist there is. Oh, like, you can see them all floating in the water there. Yeah. I can't believe how misty it is. We're coming in and out of pockets of mist. It's like we're up in the clouds and then it's sunny again. So hopefully it's sunny when we get to the cove. Oh, yes, Telegraph Cove looks like it might be foggy. It's getting more and more dense. Everybody told, told us we had to come to Telegraph Cove if we're coming up the island because it's going to be so beautiful. And it's really picturesque and you get beautiful views looking out. So yeah, I'm not sure, but we'll see. It might clear. We've got another mile. We might, we might a, get lucky. We might have a San Francisco moment. Okay, we're coming into Telegraph Cove. I was hopeful that the fog would have cleared, but it's not looking like it's going to. Oh, that green roof, I thought that was the water. Oh, Marianne. Oh, this is so Lovely cool. little houses, look at this. So we should be able to... The old schoolhouse park up and at least have a little look around oh look at this oh this is beautiful even though it's foggy it is uh it's looking pretty nice that's very cool telegraph cove office a boat launch there boat launch and kayak let's go down there and have a little look let's just go i just want to go to the top here because you might have unfortunately the cove is down there but it's just so so Marianne's just uh, part JB up behind us. I thought I'd just come and have a look, but it is, it's just too foggy today. Here you go, look, this is the, uh, the view looking over the cove down here. Sometimes when you travel, you have epic fails <laughs> and <laughs> the beautiful cove that is just behind here, I think we've done an epic, uh, it's just one of those things, isn't it? You can't control the weather. In the summer, this place is absolutely packed. But I'm just gonna have a look over the side here and just see if we can show you uh, any views at all. There you go. How beautiful would that be on a sunny day? There's a lovely harbour here and uh, there's no boats down there at the moment but like I say in the height of season this would be absolutely rammed. We've just left Telegraph Cove and about a mile out of town they got this little wow. viewpoint. Look how amazing that is with the uh, the mist hugging the mountaintop and that is the the logging area that we drove up. That's very cool. And we're up in the clouds look you can actually see the clouds moving up around us. Suddenly the sun's come out and the view 
looked so different from the drive up that we did because it was cloudy on that day and now look at this it's uh, the north of the island is very very beautiful just driving along looking at these epic mountains looking down at us i'm trying to figure out why there are pine trees all the way up the sides i don't think i've ever seen that before how can they how can they grow on like vertical cliffs i don't know but they're really are. they really are something smells good We've made it back to Clint and Linda's house. And you've been, what have you made? You've been a little bit... Uh... These are Kansas City barbecue burnt ends. Uh, I put on the smoker at about five this morning for 10 hours. Oh my goodness. Um, and uh, basically we call this meat candy. So... Oh, I'm looking forward to that. It so... smells absolutely delicious. It really smells so sweet and smoky. I think we're being spoilt tonight. <laughs> the smoking god! <laughs> I think we couldn't end today without showing the, 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 the taste test because it looks amazing. It Look does. how tender that is. That's literally just falling apart. I think we're going to come back again. You can't get You're rid of this now. <laughs> Sometimes you meet people and you connect on a carnal level. I think this is exactly <laughs> what <it> is. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we're going now because it's time to eat. <laughs>